And now race fans here to say the most famous words in motorsports. Please welcome head football coach for the TCU Horn Frogs, Sonny Dykes and family. Welcome to beautiful Fort Worth, Texas. Drivers, start your engine. Pace car is in. They address themselves to the start line, and we are underway in Texas. A very orderly start. Nobody jumping out of line. So Ty Gibbs becomes the second leader of this race. Larson led the first 35 laps. Well, and Ty had a huge lead over the, the cars that were behind him, so it's allowing him to run a little bit further, try to have a little bit fresher tires. I don't like this Gibbs staying out. He's mired in traffic. Larson is wide open. Uh -oh. Clean shot ahead. Got a fire, guys. Big time fire on pit road. Uh, looks like a little bit of a gas spill there as one car was leaving. Hold on, this is important. See, Gibbs is wanting to come in. They're ready. He's still on the racetrack. It's going to have to come through that. Probably told him to go around another lap. Yeah, and you're right, Clint. He's losing a ton of time in this traffic. Mike Ty Gibbs was good early on with the race car, but as the run went on, he started to develop a free condition. By the end of the run, he was free everywhere on the racetrack, he told us guys. Well, that's what we expected. Exactly what Regan just reported was a, that right rear tire to start to give up and the car start to slide start to slide around. You see trouble on the left rear. This is getting went from bad to worse right there on the pit stop. Chase Elliott and Todd Gilliland did not make their pit stop hoping for a caution. They got one. Jimmy Johnson spun coming off turn number four to put us under the first caution flag of the day. Watch the 84. Oh yeah he's he's sideways before he even came into the camera frame so uh, just got to be really careful with this car. It's, there's a huge bump in the, in the middle of three and four down there when when you run higher up the racetrack it'll just bounce the car and all of a sudden it'll be around on those probably on those limiters. Uh oh. Loose wheel we're told on Ty Gibbs car. Well this is exactly what we talked about earlier Clint. Uh, this 54 team on, on pit road has had trouble in these key moments of of keeping their car on the racetrack in the great track position and all the moments that they've had and now they're back on pit road with a loose wheel. We saw the 19 just come in for a loose wheel so they've definitely definitely had some issues. Well Kevin to follow up on Ty Gibbs coming back down pit road. It was not actually a loose wheel. This happened under the green flag stop. The socket off of the gun that puts the tires on and off actually got hung up on the car. It was on the car after the fact they had to come down and get that socket off for future pit stop something I have never seen before. It came dis disengaged from the pit gun. Kyle Larson on mile and a half tracks in the seventh gen cup car that we race today. He's about to win his 11th of 33 stages on mile and a half with this car. In fact, in the last six races on mile and a half tracks, he's won at least one stage. Big crash on the front straightaway in Texas. We are back under caution. John Hunter Nemechek. Alex Bowman, Christopher Bell, big damage on the rear of his car. I looked up and saw Bell's car backwards in the wall. Oh, you see the same thing that happened to Jimmy Johnson earlier. I promise you, Christopher Bell went over that bump in the high groove. The back of the car stepped out on him, caused a chain reaction behind him. That bump in, in turns three and four, you have to, depends on your car as to how you have to go over that bump. But if the car is not pointed, oof. See John Hunter come across the nose of Alex Bowman. Under caution, Kyle Larson hit the radio, says, feels like I have a flat tire. No. Not good. Yeah, you got a flat tire. You also have no tire. That, that comes off. That is, a, that is a massive, massive moment in this race, Clint. Wow. <laughs> That'll be a two lap penalty and likely suspensions in order. Yeah, what? Well, man, how, how? 
After all those laps, it just comes off, Kevin? Yeah, I, I, I don't really know how to explain that, Clint. Well, obviously the setback with the wheel coming off is a big thing, but as Larry told us, a two-lap penalty for the car that's been the heat all day long, that's well, what, that one is hard to overcome. Kozlowski is the last of the drivers who have not been to pit road since lap 103. Oh, oh McDowell! No. Hard hit for Michael McDowell. Is that that bump you were talking about, Kevin? It's the car has to be pointed straight in those bumps, especially on low tires. We got a lot of cars coming down pit road. Big contact for Michael McDowell. You know who's a benefactor of that? The five oh, car. Well, he's going to get one lap back. He's still got a, another one to go. This, I don't know if he spun out over the bump right there, but this lap is a hard lap to get back. Hard to tell. Yeah. It, it was definitely in the vicinity of that bump. Regardless, thing got loose on the outside, trying to hold position on him. Well, we'll get a second angle here. Two very aggressive drivers. You see that car start to bounce. It's before yep. the bump. I think it was wiggling, yeah, just yeah. to say. Last lap of the stage. Fifth place, Briscoe Keslowski. Uh, tenth is Elliott. Poised to get the final stage point, and Ross Chastain picks up the stage two win. His first stage win of the year and his first at Texas Motor Speedway. Three wide, heading for three. He might clear him, guys. Wallace up the racetrack, way up the racetrack, and into the 14 and around. Dang it. See Burton looking the inside off of two. Drag race is on, getting into three. All but had him cleared. Bubba really rifled that thing off into the corner. Shot got up loose. the racetrack. He got a little bit loose, had to work his way up the racetrack, and got Briscoe. really lucky. Briscoe just didn't have anywhere to go. Tyler Reddick, crossover move, looking for the lead, and ran out of room on the bottom of the racetrack against Burton. He was Goes looking up half the, a lane. Sorry, he was looking for that crossover, much like you saw now to the outside. Can he make it stick? Stay in there. Yes, sir. Got the pass. Third bumper, you were clear. Put this forward, you'll drive away. Well, this is what we thought we'd see today. Tyler Reddick leading laps. His team owner, Denny Hamlin, said he's really tight. He said this car does something different every single run here. It made a slight adjustment, air pressure for Denny Hamlin. Trouble on Tyler Reddick. They took a long time on the right side of the car. Yeah, I think it was a right rear. Mike, you're spot on. Lost a ton of time on pit road. You see Denny Hamlin go right by him. This was big, and we missed it. I'm sorry, it was on me. Reddick passed Hamlin. Obviously, a lot has to happen here. They're still going, but this is the old, essentially the race for the lead. Reddick passed him right here. Well, Reddick was was several tenths of a second faster than than Denny Hamlin. He was absolutely flying, catching Denny Hamlin, and he rolled up on him and rolled up on Denny. And Denny was like, "You just go on because you are way faster than I am right now." Now on the scoreboard, they're 13th and 14th, but to Clint's point, they are the first drivers in the race with fresh tires. You saw it, the double box. Uh, but it's John Hunter Nemechek up on the outside of Austin Sindrick, but around oh. he goes hard into the wall. That and thing, that thing the turned around quick. Reddick, he wants this win. Been fast all weekend long. Good opportunity for him, but that nine car, Chase Elliott behind him, you know that boy's hungry. Been a long time for him. There you go. Told you. We've talked about it all day. Elliot, bottom shot to the lead. Wow. Chase has been really, really aggressive, and that's the style of race that this has become on the restarts, and Chase has done it. He's put himself in position to take the lead. <laughs> Look at this guy. Look at this pass for the lead, Denny Hamlin. That went into three outside of Elliott. Their last lap was about two tenths slower than the cars chasing them as they battle hard. A foot apart. Dead heat at the line. See Chase have to lift out of the gas. 
Oh, car in the wall, 45. Yeah. Turn I, two. I heard the in car. I heard they, they, somebody had to lift. There's, I don't know what exactly happened there, but obviously Tyler Reddick got the short end of it. Just like you said, starting to lose the goody in the good years. Well, behind them, fourth and, oh boy, Ricky Stenhouse. We well, were off a couple laps, but not by much, Larry. There oh, it is. Twelfth caution flag, lap 254. Oh my, this changes stuff again. We're back to green. Connected pretty good on the outside. Good push by Chastain. Chase Elliott gets in with him. Can he stay in the throttle? He's there, Clint. Oh, wrecking behind him. That's Larson. Got it gathered up. Nope, caution. There's Who was in the lead? Who was in the lead, guys? In the back. I think Chase Elliott may have the lead. It's going to be close. Oh, my gosh. Look how close that was. That's how close it was, and that's where the drivers were positioned, according to GPS data, at the last scoring loop crossed before the yellow lights came on. Got a good jump on Chastain. Both cars have gaps behind them. It'll be a two-horse battle, one and two. Hamlin holding strong on that outside, probably stronger than anybody has so far. And Brad Keselowski just could not get his car rotated in the middle of the corner. End of three. He clear? He's Elliot. clear. Clears and around goes Hamlin in the wall. Denny Hamlin crashes. Turn four. Before Elliott makes it to the white flag, so we will re-rack and do it again. Yeah, and, and you see Chase Elliott come up the racetrack right there just a little bit. And a lot of times what happens when those cars get offset by a half a car length right there, it puts a lot of air on that right front fender and just gives that right front a little more grip than it's had all day. And we know how edgy these cars are. And it just turned that 11 car around. All right, here is overtime sponsored by Credit One Bank. Even at the line. Whoa. Kozlowski gave Elliott quite a shove there. Got him a little squirrely. Oh, turn two in the back. Put it out, put it out, turn two. And in the wall. I think he was definitely still in the lead. Uh, Harrison Burton rolls away. There's one car left up there. Might be the 16 of Kaz Grella. Looks like Elliott's been starting deep in the box the last two times. And now they come off right even again. You see him wait for Keselowski that was rolling to him. As soon as that stopped, that momentum, he took off. Ross Chastain's still going to be on the outside when they get to the exit of turn two. So it's going to come down to turn three. You see a great run by Ross Chastain down the back straightaway. Chase Elliott side draft to try to slow that down. Three wide mid pack, but everybody clean as we watch the leaders. Chase Elliott, he's clear. Clears Chastain for the lead. It's going to make it to the white flag, too. The race is going to be official. Byron takes third from Keselowski. Final lap. Keselowski Whoa! turns the one. Byron. Byron into the wall. Yellow. It's over. Chase Elliott is your winner, folks. He is back. Oh, big win for them guys. The the Boys, you're going to Dawsonville. Chase Elliott wins the Auto Trader Echo Park Automotive 400 on an overtime restart. You know, we've talked about the struggles, but today they have turned it around. These fans have all been waiting for this, and, and I love the fact that he's doing the Polish victory lap there and waving to those fans. We see the look of relief on Chase Elliott's face. The 42 race drought is over. You drove intensely today. You did everything just right. How does it feel? Oh man, it couldn't feel any better. Uh, first off, thanks to everybody that came out today. You guys are unbelievable. Um, what a, uh, you know, what, what a, <laughs> Hooters has been a partner of ours for a number of years now. And it's been a, a dream of mine to, 
uh, pay respect to the late Alan Kowicki and, and um, driving this car to a victory and being able to do a Polish victory lap and um, just uh, really crazy how things you know came full circle there in that moment it was pretty emotional for me just you know, he, he beat dad back in the day and here we are you know sharing uh, you know his sponsor and, and having an opportunity to win today so just uh, man couldn't be uh, just couldn't be more grateful for this journey and, and kind of the, the path that uh, you know hasn't always been fun but you know certainly have enjoyed working with our guys We've been um, just working really hard and really well together. And um, like I said, it hadn't always been fun, but we've enjoyed the fight together.